Welcome back to News Channel 9 at noon. Of course, our big story of the day, President Biden and his trip to Syracuse. He is in the air, of course, aboard Air Force One, now into New York airspace, uh, heading towards Ithaca at this moment. Let's get a, a live check-in with uh, News Channel 9's Rachel Polanski. She is live at Syracuse's Hancock Air National Guard Base. Rachel, uh, I assume things are starting to get into motion. People starting to, uh, to jump to there? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's right, Jeff. Uh, we are just about a half hour away from when President Biden is scheduled to touch down here in the Salt City. From here, he will make his way toward the most in his motorcade, and that is where my colleague, Andrew Donovan, will be riding along in that motorcade. So, Andrew, how are you feeling about that? That's pretty exciting. Well, it's, it is a new experience for me. I've never been able to be in the motorcade before, but we're going we're gonna to give it a go this time. I've been invited to, to sit in the press pool that goes in a van as part of the motorcade, and we will travel from here to the Museum of Science and Technology in downtown Syracuse. Right now, all that's behind us is an empty runway because Air Force One is not here. Um, you and I just went through an extensive security process, several different steps to, to get to our very spot, as did all the people around us right now. Secret Service are here and they're watching. That's right. Um, Andrew, you were actually here in October 2022 covering the president's last visit. How is this different? You know, what, what makes this unique? Well, a couple of things. Um, I'd say overall this event um, probably isn't as grand as the visit in 2022 because that was the first unveiling of Micron coming to Central New York. But this visit comes with that guaranteed money that actually makes the Micron project possible. So while it's a little bit smaller in scale, the it's not just a promise. It's now, um, you know, put... put uh, put it in paper, put it on writing. It's, right. it's the real deal. Um, and so I'd say that's what that's what the difference is. But clearly, President Biden is watching this project carefully. $6.1 billion is a lot of money. One of the biggest CHIPS awards going to Micron. Most of that money will be for the project here in the town of Clay, and some of that money will also go to the company's headquarters in Boise, Idaho. Absolutely. And like we said, the president expected to touch down at 1250. It will be a pretty quick trip after the speech at the most. He will be flying out of here around 330. I do want to mention, um, if you have any flights today, that there are flight restrictions in place from 12 to 4, but there won't be any interruptions except for the times that the president is taking off or landing. For now, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Rachel, Andrew, thank you very much. Always exciting. I can tell you, uh, seeing uh, Air Force One touchdown at uh, Fort Drum um, military base uh, when President uh, Obama was in the White House there, uh, that uh, Boeing 747, the large one that he will be flying on today, uh, President Biden, it is.